That special and unbeatable feeling of match day is in the air and the knowledge that this has all the makings of a vibrant and compelling encounter. Anticipation levels are sky high and every expectation that this game will live up to its considerable billing. We'll have the action on EA TV. A big night at a great venue, the Parc des Princes, here in the French capital, Paris. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one, my goodness, so much to look forward to. It's Paris Saint-Germain against Girona. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. And defensive play to be applauded. And here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Marquinhos plays with Milan Striniar in central defence. Fabian plays alongside Vitor Ferreira in central midfield. Hold on, Derek, chance here. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Alex Garcia. Composed and patient passing. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Zaire Emery. Dembele. Cross towards that far post. Oh, yes! Dispatching it with a plum. Wonderful goal. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Well, he knows that could prove to be a massive goal. Just look at his reaction. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Garcia. Ivan Martín. Alex Garcia. And on to Villa. And now their turn to have the ball. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Crossing opportunity. Foiling his opponent completely. Oh, pressing really high. Fabian. Ferreira. Toro Muani. Now PSG moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Failed to keep hold of it. Arnau Martinez. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Well, possibilities in the centre. Very quick thinking there. Ivan Martin. Danger here as he runs at them. Yangel Herrera. Garcia with it. Flint. Tony Villa. And a chance to whip it in here. Can he finish? And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. Not chasing the game, but now a corner. Elects to go short. Sigankov. 
An alert piece of defending. Hakimi. And Fabian. Now well, moving the ball impressively here. Well, he knows what he's doing defensively. And half-time coming up with PSG on top. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance to this point? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. Martin. Herrera. And now Garcia. Dovbik. Garcia with it. Tony Villa. And he cuts in from the wing. Can he convert? Brilliantly blocked. And that is that for the first half here in the French capital. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm... So underway in the second half, it's PSG in front, but a long way from being done and dusted. Dembele. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Alex Garcia. And providing width. Good looking cross. Well, no danger now. Dembele. Zaire Emery. Koro Muani. Perfect tackle. Garcia. Dovbik. Vitor Ferreira. Marquinhos. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Tony Villa working so hard to win back possession Ferreira and Fabian well they have the ball once more Zaire Emery Dembele Fabian in position and he'll take efforts like that all day long Warren Zaire Emery Fabian cuts it back Looks as though there might be a threat, but not so in the end. Good defending. Alex Garcia. Well, good run, this. Now, what can he do with it? No way through. Well, trailing here, but a corner it is. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. Played over. Oh, stopped on the line!
And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. 20 minutes to go in this one. He has teammates around him. Ferreira. Well, he has the measure of his man. It was on its way in. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Pulls it back. Strong hand on that one. And the corner has been given. Substitution it is for PSG. And short it is. Could be troublesome. And tossing through. And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. Well, here's the goal again. And it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So back underway following the equaliser. Marco Asensio. Marquinhos. Well, the PSG fans are making so much noise here. They believe the winner's coming, but it needs a moment of inspiration from one of those players out on the pitch. What a finale to this game. Fabian. Asensio. And return to Asensio. Determined defending. Five minutes of the 90 still to go. And the teams cannot be separated. And the search goes on for a winner. Time is tight. Now was that the denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity? And it was always going to be crystal clear for the referee in terms of the decision. Well, he had to make a tackle, didn't he? Unfortunately, it wasn't a good one. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, let's see it again. As soon as he struck that, he knew it was going in. Although he's put that much movement on the ball, he controls it perfectly. It's a great free kick. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Hakimi. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Fabian. Now with Hakimi. PSG simply must be opportunistic with time not on their side. Cross could be useful, still not clear. Full time then, and Paris Saint-Germain have work to do already. Where did it all go wrong for PSG? It's a poor start to their Champions League season. Well, that's not the result they were looking for. It makes the next game really important now. They need to respond in that one. And I think it's fair to say he'll be happy with his own contribution in this game, Stuart. Well, he's the match winner, and deservedly so. He was outstanding today. He's great to watch when he's in this sort of form.